what's up i'm nine and i'm back on your screen with another video today i will be doing a retwist with the locksmithing method i will also be telling two stories because y'all know i like to do my story time i'm gonna be telling two stories about how i basically got caught smoking when i was like i probably was like 17 yeah like i used to smoke i started smoking when i was like 16 17 my mom knew I smoked, but she was in denial. She tried to act like she ain't know, but she knew. So the first time I ever got caught, I was in my room. My mom, she used to let boys come over because I wasn't like boy crazy or nothing. Or, and I, I wasn't even dating in high school. I wasn't thinking about boys. I had friends. They were my friends. But they used to come over. Like everybody used to come to our house. Our house was the chill out house. My mom is the reason why my kids is not going to people's house. Because <laughs> she, she didn't let us do stuff because we was her kids. But other people, kids, she didn't care what they did. She don't care if they smoke cigarettes, weed, drink. She didn't care. So my kids will not be going to people's house. And me going to other people's house and their parents just letting people, kids do shit. That's why my kids not going to people's house. But anyway, so we in the room smoking. I'm going to use fake names. I'm not going to use real names. So it's me, James, Josh, and Marie. <laughs> we in the room smoking. And James trying to pass me the blunt. I see my mom walk past the door. She's standing in front of my door. I'm watching her. Nobody else see her. She looking at us. <laughs> so I act like I don't really see her, but I see her. So he keep trying to pass me the blunt. And I'm like, I'm not saying nothing. He hit it. He tried to pass it to me again. I didn't say nothing. He hit it again. Then he tried to pass it to me. He did that for like two, three minutes. So then he finally... No, finally somebody said something. They said hey to my mom. And then he was like, oh, shit, my bad. I I'm passing it to the wrong person. So he gave it to somebody else. I'm just like, dog, this man really was just sitting here trying to pass me the blunt, not paying attention. My mom talking about some, yeah, I wanted you to take that blunt. I was going to break your fingers. I was cracking up because it's funny. My mom really wouldn't have did that. She really did whoop us for real. But she definitely would have put me on punishment or something. But that was funny. That was the first time. The second time I, I did get caught, the second time for sure, she seen me. So her boyfriend was smoking in the living room with my cousin. And I don't remember who else was smoking with us. So I was in there smoking with them, you feel me? So I'm trying to act like I don't care. Like my mama just know. I'm acting like my mama know because her boyfriend, he, he a little snitch, low key. But if he think my mama know, then he... Whatever. So I'm smoking. My mama come out her room. I got the blunt in my hand. He watching me because he want to see if I'm going to throw it or do something. So I'm acting like I don't care. I got the blunt in my hand, but it's not like visible to where you will see that I got the blunt. <laughs> so I'm holding it. I'm smoking it. My mama in the kitchen. She don't really see. It already smell like weed because they smoke it. So she don't really know. So then <laughs> she walked past the living room. I'm holding the, I had just hit the blunt. I'm holding the smoke in my mouth. I'm waiting for her to walk past because she about to go to the bathroom. She walked past a little bit. I blow the smoke out, but she seen me. So she turned around like, what was that? I'm like, what? She like, stop playing with me. What was that that just came out your mouth? <laughs> I'm like, what? What just came out my mouth? She like, you smoking? I was like, what? I didn't see nothing. Just come on, I'm playing it crazy. So then my mom like, yeah, all right. She ain't really say nothing. She just keep walking. <laughs> so <laughs> her boyfriend looking at me, he going to start laughing like, yeah, she saw that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was terrible. I really used to be acting terrible, but I really was a good kid. I ain't going to lie. Like, even though smoking weed was really the only thing that I did that I could say that was bad. Only because my mom didn't want me to smoke weed. My kids, I'm not going to really care if they smoke weed. If they anything like me, they can smoke weed. Because I was on my shit. You feel me? I wasn't boy crazy. I wasn't having sex. I wasn't worried about relationships. I went to school. I even, I ain't going to tell my business too much. But I even did something. And I went to school anyway. You feel me? Like, I went to school all the time. And I ain't going to say I got good grades. I, I graduated shit. I ain't get the best grades, but I made sure I went to school. I was on my shit. I knew how to make money. I was responsible. I've been paying my own phone bill since I was like, what, 12, 13? I got my first phone. My phone only been off a few times since I have ever had a phone because I've always been getting money. I used to cut grass, shovel snow, 
I was on my shit. Let's just say I was a very responsible kid. Bought school clothes, shoes, all that. You feel me? I was smooth. Now that I'm an adult, even better. If my kids turn out to be like me, I won't mind. I, I have I, I got drunk before before I turned eighteen, but I didn't drink. Like I got drunk maybe like once or twice, but it wasn't like me just out drinking. I never get drunk like in public. And to this day, as an adult, I don't go out and get drunk. Like, if I go out somewhere and have a drink, I'm going to have one drink. That's it. I don't know how people be out just getting drunk and just acting crazy. No, I'm good. But I was a pretty responsible kid, so my kids can be like me. They smoke, whatever. But I had a funny childhood. Oh, yeah, I had another time. (laughs) Me and my friend, we were smoking. We were smoking. We was high as ever. We at the basketball court. They playing basketball. We acting goofy as hell. So we finally go back to the house. We didn't want to go in because we high. So we sit in the car or whatever. We trying to plan on how we going to get in the house without my mom seeing us. So my friend like, just go in there, ask her, do she need something? And she say, no, just go sit down. I'm like, bro, why would I go in there, ask her, do she need something? She going to know something up. I never asked her, do she need something? Like, what? What is she going to need? I'm like, just go in and go straight in the room. Because my room was to the right. Her room was to the left. So you walk in, it's the living room. You go to the right, me and my brother room. Then you go to the left, the kitchen, and then my mom room. So then we finally go in the house. But I ended up going in the kitchen because I was hungry. My mom and my brother was in there. My mom was talking about when she go grocery shopping. So I get the name and all the food that I want her to get from the store. She going to look at me. She like, you high, ain't you? I'm like, why would you ask me that? <laughs> She like, you is. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not high right now. I was acting like I wasn't high no more. <laughs> but she like, yeah, I know you high. I'm like, mm, nope, I'm not high right now. <laughs> then I just left and walked away. My mom was so funny, though, because she really knew I smoked. Like, I know for a fact she knew I smoked, but she used to act like she really didn't know. I guess she just really wanted me to tell her, but... She wouldn't have wanted me to smoke. She didn't want me to do a lot of stuff. My mom was kind of strict, for real, for real, but she really wasn't. Like, she really didn't. She cared about what I did, but she let me do, like, I was gone all the time. I guess she just trusted me, I should say, because I was gone all the time. Like, I hung out with people that was grown. I wouldn't necessarily say I hung out, but I met people that was grown, and they, like, became my siblings and stuff like that, cousins and stuff. I used to be at their house all the time. They never let me do stuff. I never got drunk at their house. They didn't even have me smoke weed or nothing. But I used to be at their house, and my mama didn't even know these people. <laughs> like, she really just used to let me be gone. Like, I was just doing stuff. But I turned out pretty good, pretty good. I, I'm i proud of myself. I ain't going to lie. But I ain't got no more story time. I ain't got no more story time. But why? y'all see her here crispy. I learned this method from somebody on Instagram. I seen her doing it, and I was like, damn, that shit fire. I need to start doing mines like that. So I started doing mine like that, and boom, them boys fire. Look at it. When she first came, I didn't get a before picture, but when she first came, her hair was, it's like shrinkage, shrinkage, but I washed it and stretched them out, and booyah, cute. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Hit that bell for notifications.